these curb stones are going to be the stones that are going to surround our very own car park. So there'll be no more trying to get parking in the city centre and parking on double yellow lines and clamper vans and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to have our own car park. This is where it's going to be. And we're going to be able to park a few hundred cars, which is going to be tremendous. Behind me, the doors are going to be leading into the restaurant, and where I'm standing right now is going to be all the decking area, which will be just off the restaurant. So on a sunny day like today, you can take your meal after church on a Sunday service, come out to the decking, sit down with the wife and the kids, and just chill out. I'm in the main sanctuary, if you haven't already guessed, and it is becoming a beehive of activity. For the simple reason is the electricians have moved in, so our sound system, our lighting system, and all our TV facilities are being wired as we speak. And also the scaffolding is up because the inside ceiling is going on. The finish is, is being fitted on that with the plasterboard and such. So it's, it's just a beehive of activity. There's so many different trades around. We've got electricians, to plumbers, to plasters, to slabbers, to all sorts. So if you haven't already got on board with this vision, you better get on quick because this train is leaving the station. Well, I just thought we'd come up here to, to get this opportunity just to show you the main steel supports because these will be covered in in a matter of weeks and we won't get to see them. And for those of you that are interested, here they are right here, and they actually support the whole roof, the structure and everything that will be hanging off and suspended from the roof. These will be sealed in in a few weeks, and the part we're at right now, this scaffolding will be taken away, so you won't be able to walk up here any longer. But it just, just to show you though that this is going to be a very well built church, very solid. You know what, spiritually it won't be moved, and physically it won't be moved. I'm with the main electrical contractor here, this is uh, Dermot, and uh, I just want to ask a quick question. So do you think we'll be, be getting in for September, Dermot? We'll be good to go. We'll be good to go. We've, we've uh, a very tight deadline, but uh, uh, we'll get it together. A couple of Mars bars and a can of Coke, good to go. The words are, we're good to go. One of the very interesting things about this whole building is that it's going to be acoustically treated. So this is just some of the insulation that will be doing that job for us. So basically no matter how tundry it gets outside or rainy or windy, it's not going to affect the sound inside. And that's pretty cool and it's uh, very up to date. So don't forget that this is a very sophisticated building indeed. Well, I'm walking through the corridors here, which are going to be rooms where we're going to have TV studio, a recording studio, and Bible study rooms. It's going to be a very creative level, to say the least. But let me just say this, is that sometimes we can, we can take things for granted. We are going to be the first church with their own in-house recording studio, their own in-house TV studio, and their own in-house Bible school. People travel far and wide to get to Bible school. We are going to have it all right here in Victory Center. This room here is located to the back of the sanctuary and it's going to be the media mixing room. So what will happen is all the cameras and sound will be come back in here, will be mixed and it will be sent out to the screens which will be located around the building. It's all going to be state of the art and it's all going to be wired in fibre optics. Yeah. 